going on YouTube. This is a quick update on how to put air in your tires. Now, stay tuned. I'll be showing you how to put everything together. This is the way I move my tires. So, uh, you're going to take your tire, you know, flip it inside out. Like so. Alright. Cool, that's ready. Now you're gonna get an oil ring. Two of them actually. You're gonna get two oil rings. They're about the same size as the rim. So now we're gonna take this whole ring, one, and we're just gonna kind of put it over the rim, rim here. You're gonna take it and you're gonna put it over the rim. All right, like so. And you're gonna bring it into as close as you can to, you know. little two lines inside right in the middle you want to get that as close as possible to that all right and that kind of covers the holes up a little bit um so i'm gonna mount another one on the other side like so Alright, so that just sits in the middle, just like that. Now you're going to take your tire rim rim, and you're going to put this lip in front of the rim, like so. And it's got to land in that in between the o-ring and the rim okay um, looks like a small plunger airbag or something hmm. ideas ideas that's how it's supposed to look. Just like that. Okay. So now you're going to grab your glue. You're just going to glue that right there. Drop the glue. Right there, like so. So we're gonna let this sit and dry and then I'll show you how to do the other side. Alright guys. Alright guys, we're back. So uh, we we're just gonna drop a little bit more glue in the same spot. Okay. Right in between. in the old ring. Mm -hmm. okay.
it a dry. Move it back. Put a little bit of weight on it. It's not, not that much, but you know, just so it can kind of seal properly. You know, yeah. Kind of like so we can kind of push down on the, you know, on the room and the oven. You know what I'm saying. Now it looks like a pun. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so, you know, I did put glue a couple of times. I think I put glue three times. Um, you know, double check it to make sure there's no, you know, openings. Now we're going to flip this tire inside out. Be careful, you know, take your time, smoothly, gently. Look at that, guys. Look at that. No runs. Beautiful. All right. Guys, as soon as you cover this up, I mean, I haven't put the glue on the back yet. You know, you can feel that it's yeah. You, you can totally feel the difference. Um, it's holding the hair, and you know, but if I squeeze, it's gonna come right out. But you can totally feel the difference. Uh, look at that. Oh, now. Guys, to add the glue in the back, it's very simple. You just, uh, you're not gonna be really, really looking at the back of the room here, so you just, Add some glue around the rim. I'm gonna do this quickly. This dries very quick. Then just gonna grab your rim, push it through. Hey guys, welcome back. So after gluing everything together, and you know. Um, Letting the glue sit for a couple of times. I did, uh, you know, I, I glued it um, all around this this rim here, the rim and the tire, okay? You wanna drop enough glue in there, don't be scared. Um, drop enough glue in there to seal that, okay? Um, I still haven't cleaned these yet, you know. I'm um, just showing you guys. Uh, I started sanding this down a little bit, you know. Then I'm just gonna drop a little bit of, um, uh, you know, touch up paint or whatever. But I'm not. I'm not really worried. Um, I'm not really worried about the back. You know, I'm not gonna be looking at the back. Um, you know, these rims here. Uh, these rims here, you know, they were damaged, you know, but, you know, I saved them and I saved the tires and I got, you know, I got air in these now and I'm pretty happy with the way the, the results came out. So, um, yeah. All right, guys. So, you know, after that's dry. 
see in the back and everything uh, what you want to do is add your sealant okay and you're going to use your syringe um i tried doing this the first time adding the sealant with the syringe and i kind of messed up um and the reason why is because um, when I tried to put sealant on another tire, uh, it was clogged up and, you know, it was just a big mess. Um, but with this update, you know, um, just make sure that, you know, when you add sealant to your tire at the end, um, that you kind of um, add, you know, just rinse this off like at least 10 times with hot water, you know. Uh, so you can use it again, you know, for future tires. Um, yeah, it was kind of, it was a big mess. It was kind of dangerous. So just be careful, you know what I mean? You want to make sure you do that. And then after that, put the cover on it and put it away. You don't want nothing like this laying around the house. All right. So I'm not going to add the ceiling in here. You know, it's very simple get something like this you pour it in there you know on the syringe right don't forget to grab you know your sharpie put a little dot for indication that's where you're gonna feed your sealant okay once you feed your sealant this is gonna be pumped up that's how it's gonna look all right you need to add a little bit more fluid um, do so just um just don't overdo it because that tire might explode you know um so i'm pretty happy you know that um that i shared this update with you and uh, just to make things easier uh, for all all right please share like and subscribe for future videos and yeah i'll see you guys soon peace